Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a, a penguin as requested by Maria. You'll need small amounts of black, white and orange cotton or wool. You'll also need a crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in your ends, a sewing needle and black thread to stitch the eyes on. I'll be using white fabric paint for the dots in the middle of the eyes but you could use white cotton to embroider in the dot. I have the pattern for this penguin on my website with both, both US and UK terminology. The details are in the description below. I'll be using US terms today. We're going to start with the body and with white cotton and I'll make a magic loop and then work three chain into the circle. Next I'll work two double crochet three treble Six double crochet, three treble. And lastly, three double crochet. And I pull my circle tight. and join with the slip stitch in the third chain. For row two I start with three chain and work a double crochet in the same spot as a chain. And then I work two double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now I work two treble into each of the next three treble. Now I work two double crochet into each of the next six double crochet.
next two treble into each of the next three treble. And lastly, two double crochet into each of the three double crochet. And join with a slip stitch in the third chain. And we've got an oval. For row three we start with three chain and work a double crochet in the same spot. Now we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two double crochet and then two double crochet into the next double crochet. We're going to repeat that until we get halfway round. So that's one double crochet into each of the next two double crochet and two double crochet into the following double crochet. Now that's about halfway round. So now I'm going to work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Next I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch around to the last four. Into the last four I'm going to work one half double crochet into each stitch. And join with a slip stitch into the third chain. 
and I'll person that one off. And I've got like an egg shape. Next I'm going to work this, the white pieces of the head. I'm going to work join on the back side. I find the centre stitch which is this one and then I move to the right three stitches. So this one here I'll join my yarn. and work three chain into the same stitch I'm going to work one double crochet into the next stitch I'm going to work two double crochet and then two half double crochet into the following stitch Into the centre stitch I work one single crochet and then two half double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into each of the following stitches into each of the two following stitches Now I'm going to work three chain and turn my work to the right side. Now I'm going to work a five double crochet cluster across these stitches here. I'm going to start from the stitch that in here next to the chain. So yarn around into this stitch and pick up a loop, yarn around through two and I've got two loops, yarn around into the next stitch, pick up a loop, yarn around through two I've got three loops, yarn around into the following stitch, pick up a loop, yarn around and through two I've now got four, sti four loops and done three stitches yarn around into the next stitch, pick up a loop, yarn around through two and for the last stitch yarn around into the next stitch pick up a loop yarn around through two and yarn around and through all the loops and I fasten that off Now I miss three stitches and join my yarn into the fourth stitch and start with three chain and I'm going to do another five treble cluster on this side. So I start, my first stitch is in the same stitch as the three chain and then work across the last stitch will be the three the top of the the three chain And that's the white part of your penguin.
Now I've finished off my endings and I'm going to start on the black around the body next. The three bottom stitches are left white. Now I find my centre stitch, which is this one, and I miss one stitch and then I join my thread into this stitch here. I start with one chain and I work a single crochet into the same stitch as the chain. And then I work a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then I'm going to work two half double crochet into the following stitch. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into the following stitch. I'm going to do that four times. So that was one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch four times. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into each stitch until, until the last stitch before the, the join for the neck. Now I work a joined double crochet into the last stitch before the neck and the first stitch after the neck. I now work one double crochet into the next two stitches. I just try to find a spot in the chain to put my double crochet into. Now around the curve I'm going to work two double crochet into each stitch.
and I work down until I've got two stitches each this side of the center stitch. Now we do a far double crochet cluster in to the two stitches before the center stitch, the center stitch and two stitches after. We do that the same as we did the white part of the head. And that's our five double crochet cluster over the five stitches. And that just fills up the space in the middle there. Now just work a double crochet in the next stitch. And now two double crochet into each stitch around the curve. And then one double crochet to the last stitch before the join. Now we're going to work a joined double crochet in the last stitch before the join and the first stitch after. And that's around the head done. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Next we're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the following stitch. We'll do that four times. So that was two double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the following stitch four times. And then we're going to work one double crochet into each stitch until seven stitches remain. And then we work two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches 
and we've got our three stitches left there. So we'll fasten off and that's the body. Next I'm going to work on this arm. So I'll join my thread just at the join there at the neck and work nine chain. Now I'm going to work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. Now a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into each of the next two chain and then I'm going to work one treble into each of the remaining chain. and slip stitch into the body. I'll fasten that one off. When I weave in my endings, I'll just attach the arm a little bit more, put a stitch through it with each ending just to hold it in a bit more. For the second arm I start just down around the fourth chain from the, the join there. And I'll do nine chain and work a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And next I'll work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. And now two double crochet, one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then treble, one treble into each chain to the end. And then just slip stitch into the body in the join there.
and that's the body done. For the eye we start with a magic loop and work one chain and then we work three single crochet Pull the circle really tight and slip stitch into the chain. And fasten off. And then we've got a tiny little circle. For the beak I'll be using orange cotton and I start with five chain. I miss the first three chain and I'm going to work a joined double crochet over the last two chain. and fasten off. Now I join my thread into the back of the chain and I work three chain and a joined double crochet over the next two chain into the back. And fasten off. And you've got a little beak. I'll just weave in my endings and come back and show you how to crochet on the feet and we'll put the eyes and the beak on. Now I'm going to start with this foot here. I attach my yarn in the first single crochet of the black and work three chain. Into the same spot I'm going to work one double crochet, three chain and a slip stitch into the same space. And that's the first toe. I'm going to work the same into the next two stitches, two more toes. So slip stitch into the next stitch, three chain, a double crochet, three chain and slip stitch into the same place. And for the last toe I'll do the same slip stitch into the next stitch three chain, a double crochet, three chain and slip stitch into the same spot and that's the first foot. We fasten that one off. For the second foot we join in the third stitch from the end and it's worked the same. Three chain, a double crochet, three chain, slip stitch into the same stitch. 
and slip stitch into the next stitch. Three chain. Double crochet. Three chain. A slip stitch into the same place and then a slip stitch into the next stitch. And three chain. Double crochet. Three chain. And then slip stitch in the same place. And fasten that one off. Now I'll just fasten off the endings and I'll be back and we'll put the eyes and the beak on. Now the eyes are just positioned in there as even as possible and the beak I stitch just above this line here, I stitch it in across the middle and then push it down. So I'll attach them and I'll come back and show you how it looks. Now the last thing I do is just put a tiny dab on each eye of fabric paint And there's the penguin finished. This one has its inner eyes just stitched, just a couple of stitches on. So you could do that, but you do that before you stitch the eyes on. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.